Okay. Uh, mask off. Yeah. Looks like uh, pause button failed. So, I walk home now. Hey, there's an old sob. Like a 60s sob. Nice. <laughs> uh, secrets. I'm not keeping any secrets here. I bought some edibles because I'm hanging out with my parents. Thought I'd see what it's like to have a little gummy bear fueled afternoon. Um, something I've never really tried. Well, I mean, I've eaten brownies when I was in college, high school, whatever. But it's been a while. And this is just a congratulations to me for not quitting my job the first month in. I think every month I need to reward myself with some level of way to go bro stay employed level of pat on the back and a $15 bag of gummy bears is extravagant but nonetheless the kind of reward that it well, <laughs> enticed me enough to work another month sadly um, so no secrets that's the way I want to live no secrets I don't have any secrets about anything I don't want to be hiding anything I have nothing to not tell anybody about anything from my past, my present, my future. <sighs> There's nothing anymore that isn't wide open. Want to see my checkbook? Here it is. Want to see my medical records? Here they are. You want to know everything about me? I don't care. I know some of you are out there doing it anyway checking up on every data point about all of us. I mean, to what end? Why do you want to know that? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to predict human nature down to the finest point? <laughs> Dumb. And for every <clears throat> trend you identify, you understand that by identifying the trend, you're going to create the counter trend. I mean, it's just, it's an absurd pursuit. Secrecy itself is an absurd pursuit. All it does is create shadow where shadow doesn't exist. And so then when people are standing in that chill, they know they are. You don't get to hide things. You just get to show that you're hiding things. And eventually all that stuff bombs out anyway. So why live with secrets? I get the impulse to want to tell a lie. A lie is not a secret though. I mean, lies are like like jumps. If I say jump, what do you think of, right? Probably think of Diggly Rock and some red leather pants, but if you don't think of that, you could have thought of a hundred things. You could have thought of somebody jumping over a river. You could have thought of something jumping over a school bus. Could have thought of somebody jumping over a sidewalk crack. Could have thought of somebody jumping backward. Could have thought of somebody doing a backflip. Could have thought of somebody jumping off a building. Could have thought of somebody leaping over a building. Point is, everything in the world that can be described as a jump is about as varied as everything in the world that can be described as a lie. Lies are oftentimes conversational reactions or uh, instantaneous decisions <clears throat> where secrets are premeditated. They are schemes. They are they are dives. When I think, when I say, do you think of a dive? Yeah, it's a jump, but it has an element of presentation inherent in it, like secrets. Secrets involve presentation of a false nature or some other deviant nature. And believe me, <laughs> my whole life was one of secrets. Everything I did was in some way shameful enough to hide from somebody in some capacity so as to keep myself shelled up in some unhinged version of an identity that didn't exist. I was nothing but secrets. In fact, it was troublesome for me to have too many people I knew in the same room for some of my secrets would start to unwind as they were uniquely different in different situations. So I am not trying to be a hypocrite when I say 
living in a world of secrets doesn't make sense to me. I'd lived in one about as in, entrapped by secrets as you can possibly get. And while that is another way that my mind broke, that I allowed that to happen, I'm, uh, I'm not above admitting that if I don't somehow find a way to always live now with the open, upfront, exposed uh, sensibility of I have no shame. I have nothing to be secretive about. I live in a way in which I hope you are watching me for you might think how awesome is that guy. And uh, why wouldn't I want to live like that? So, you know, I walk into the pot shop now. I hope people drive by that know me. Hello, come and see what I'm doing. How it might help your life or not. I'm not suggesting you smoke marijuana. I'm just suggesting be open to finding out what the best version of life is for you. And if it is one filled with secrets, then who are you? What are you doing? Why are you living like that? Why are you putting all that energy into the counter scheming that comes with having to hold those secrets? Blah, 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 blah. Man, that was a lot of energy. I don't have that kind of time anymore. You know, I got 80s greatest hits, 100 lists to go through in mine. Decide about songs I need to put back into my collection. I got stuff to do. And it certainly is not something involving hiding who I am, what I'm up to, what I want to do with my life, where I've been in my life, why I got there. All that stuff's explainable. Yeah, I'm not 100% happy with my heritage and all the echoes that are reverberating from my past. I could have done better. But I'm not going to be secretive about it. And I have some shit that I don't want to tell you. But I'm going to. Because in purging those secrets from within, I know I'll release a whole bunch of just negative energy I store up if I do keep secrets. And there's one thing for sure. You can't keep secrets from your dog because when you come home with new selection of THC and CBD concentrates, well, Miss Couch Potato knows all about it because she's got a nose even more bionic than my mother. Hi, boo -boo. Uh -uh. Yep. Went to the pot shop. And uh, another thing about secrets. I know my mom's going to keep listening to these. So, mom, I'm sorry for all the secrets. I don't have any anymore. You know that. And I'm going to help you and me make sure that that's the way we live going forward for the rest of our days. Because all that shenanigan pulling I was doing, well, it was because I couldn't understand how much I loved being me.